Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for day two of Frizzmas. We are doing the makeup protection program. Uh, we're just gonna talk about new makeup releases, y'all, because the, the way this is going, I cannot sit up here in front like I'm protecting anybody. But, you know, it's that time of year. There's a lot of releases and a lot of fun things to talk about. So if you wanna comb through all of the new makeup releases with me, keep watching this video, let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you wanna hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back all right let's get started so how are you I am doing great and I just want to let you all know that I am filming this video a day early because I am not going to be in town I'm filming this video on Thursday evening so if there's anything that releases on Friday or Saturday we are going to talk about it next week so definitely let me know in the comment section if there's anything that I missed because I'm sure I am going to miss some things but we still have a lot to talk about so I'm going to move on over and we are going to get scrolling. Please let me know in the comment section how you're doing, how you're feeling this holiday season. I did talk a lot about that during my first Christmas uh, video yesterday, which was the uh, Christmas tag. And um, just let me know how you're doing. Um, as of right now, I haven't done really too much Christmas shopping or anything like that. But um, you'll probably understand why if you watch that Christmas tag video. So I will uh, put that in the cards if you want to just see how I feel about the holiday season. I'm going to get my screen record started and uh, see what's going on. Where's my light? Why is my light right there? There we go. <laughs> Okay. As per usual, we are starting with my girl, Jamie, also known as makeup on your radar. And we're going to see what's going on in these streets. I don't think it's too much, but it's, it's still, it's still something. <laughs> now I did do a lot of purchasing during a black Friday. So I have a lot of content coming up and we have just started Frismas. That's my version of Vlogmas. And I usually do 24 straight days of videos and it may end up being more than that. So we'll, we'll see how it goes, but you're definitely going to be seeing me for the next 24 Hello. days straight. And uh, I'm excited about hi, that. Hi YouTube. Oh, August said hi. So let us go ahead and just refresh a little bit. Like it really isn't too much. So I'm, I'm happy about that. And so is my wallet. I do want to start with the Machina palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. And then I'll go back down because I see I, I skipped a, maybe a, a thing or two. I already knew I was going to purchase this palette. And when I saw it, at first I was like, okay, like I'm trying to grasp the color story because I, I don't think we talked about this color story last week, but I, I know we talked about the, uh, the, the packaging. So this wasn't what I expected. However, I, when I read the description, when I reread it, I was like, okay, I, I get it. And when I saw this palette, at first, I was thinking it was a little disjointed, although there is that gradient, um, kind of. So when, when I saw this palette, and then I'll, I'll switch to another uh, picture I saw, I looked at this and I was like, this is two different palettes. This is two palettes. I don't see myself, and, and I know you can, and, and that will be my challenge, uh, crossing the palettes so if we're looking at it we kind of have this flowery like side that reminds me of something that's blooming um it reminds me of springtime it reminds me of warmth and that's the packaging part that i see uh in the machina packaging on the outside right and then the second palette i see is the uh the tech side the robot side the science side the sci-fi type side um it's very cool it's very 
robot, very machine. So when I look at it like that, I'm like, okay, these are two kind of dope color stories. And actually the, the, the tech AI science side, I mean, those are the grungy shades that I, I usually go to. So if you, if you just cover up, uh, the, the bloom flowery side, th those 12 shades, you're going to make some nice, like really nice looks. I haven't seen any reviews yet, but I'm, <laughs> I'm actually covering it up now <laughs> just so I could talk about it. Like they're two separate palettes two separate and if I had to choose between them it would be those those murky greens and grays and navies so I did order this palette I am really excited to try it out I do know that there is a um, shade that a lot of people are talking about and I think it's the shade uh, I, maybe it's cyborg or maybe it's conscious or maybe it's both but I did see a couple swatches and I was like, wow, there, let me go to the blend bunny Instagram because this right here, see this, when you look at these palettes separately, you can really see the concept. And I think that's so cool, but I'm telling you that that cool side with, yeah, that's, that's, that's it right there. Like those, those shades. I'm really excited to use them. And um, like I said, I'll probably use them almost as two separate palettes, but you know, there may be some natural uh, crossings of the colors. So uh, interesting. It, it is an interesting palette to me. It wasn't what I expected, but I think when it comes to blend bunnies, you don't know what to expect. So I am very excited to say that I ordered this palette and if you did not purchase it just so you know it's 45 dollars i don't know let's see i don't know if uh jamie has a code but there are a bunch of codes in this palette so i mean in this palette there's a bunch of codes for blends let me know if you purchased this one let me know what you think i have seen mixed reviews all right, that's that's my report on that. All right, we have a uh, fragrance release. F and fragrances right now, y'all, uh, if it wasn't bad enough with the makeup, the fragrances are just, they're coming. Uh, because it, it, it's always time to smell good. You know what I mean? It's not like a uh, palette where you may be like, ah, oh, that's not my vibe, whatever. Like, it's always time to smell good. So this is Sphinx, and this is called Chocolate Citronique. This is a pre-order. All right, we have top notes of chocolate, vanilla, and praline, middle notes of orange, hazelnut, cocoa, and base notes of almond biscuits and caramel. I have watched, okay, looks like they have a travel size, a couple reviews, but not in depth. And I'm curious about just how they are, like, do they last? I, it's nice when I have something that lasts all day, but it, if something doesn't last all day, that's okay. I just don't want something where the smell just dissipates right away and you don't smell it. I would like to say that I did wear Crumb Couture to work today with a little, a bit of Sunkissed Dahlia from Skylar on my wrists. <laughs> And I, I sprayed it before work. I sprayed, I had a tank top on and then a hoodie over that. So I sprayed the uh, Crumb Couture on my uh, tank top and then on the hoodie. And I didn't take it to work with me. And I couldn't really smell it by the end of the day, but we had a, a professional development. And one of my close coworkers was like, it really smells like waffles in here. She's like, I want a waffle. She's like, what is that? She's like, is that you, Chambers? Or no, she calls me Karen. She's like, is that you? I'm like... It's me. And I showed her the note. She's like, I need to get that. So I was happy. Like, mission accomplished. Mission accomplished, Crumb Couture. I have to say that. You have, you've done your job. I know some people don't want to smell like waffles and pancakes and maple syrup, but I like to smell delectable and I'm into it. Here comes Marky. You will buy that? Buy it. Yeah. Buy what? It's too late to buy things. Is it that TV app? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to buy that, okay? Ever. Well, I don't know about forever, but I'm not buying it today. Maybe later. Maybe later. But, you know, I'm giving you like 10 more minutes. Oh, I think August fell asleep. So, yeah, 
um, because you have a school tomorrow, okay? Yeah. Did you tell everybody about your belt? Uh, I have my belt. Uh, Wait, well, get, bend down, bend down. I have my old belt. Your old I'm belt. So happy. I, you know what? And I'm happy for you because you did an amazing job. Okay, I'm not buying it, and I will. Tomorrow? Maybe. You need to leave. Because, y'all. All right, and that's why I, can, I really can't buy no fragrances. Okay, we talked about the collab with Glam Smitty and Shine by SD Cosmetics, which was the Forest Hues, and it was something else. So, <laughs> I think they just split it in half, so we're going to uh, look at both. But these are the Forest Hues, and I really love that brown shade in the upper right. Yeah, that's, oh, that's pretty, and I like how we're seeing the shifts there. Wait. Okay, yeah, same shades. Mirkwood. Mirkwood is really pretty. These are very um, interesting names. Ooh, wow, Rumpus. Okay, I will have to look these up. I can't do it today. Ooh, this is pretty. Lothlorien. Okay, ooh, okay. Um, Let me know what you think about these. I'd love to see the swatches. I would really be interested. So here we have the Mystic Dreams section of the palette. This is very pretty. Mmm. Ooh, Intangible. Ethos is pretty. Celestial. These are really nice. I cannot wait to see uh, swatches of this. And so it is a palette, but all of these shades will be available as singles. So I don't see any uh, pricing at this time, but I'm sure that will be coming very soon. We talked about this palette from Touch of Glam Beauty. There's been a hollow misunderstanding. I am passing on this palette. The pre-orders are now live. So let me know if you purchased this one. Yeah, let me know. A 10 pan limited edition pressed pigment palette. 100% handcrafted shades. Let me just see if there are uh, some prices. So we know. Mm, I don't see any prices. I, what is up with the prices? Zay, what's your price? All right, well, I, you know, I can't be uh, scavenging around trying to find prices. Like, yeah, don't move it on. Now, we have from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. These are glosses, and they've added 22 glosses, which look very nice. Look at the black one. These look very nice. I need no lip products at all, but these are available now. So let me know if you've purchased anything from Give Me Glow recently. I know they've launched some empty palettes, some blushes, some bronzers. So let me know. And now we have the glosses. <sighs> no, I cannot be made by Mitchell. Uh, Lash Lacquer. That's mean. I don't even know anything about made by Mitchell, but it just makes me want to go. No. That's what it makes me want to do for some reason. Uh, this is, uh, these are available at in Beauty Bay. And uh, these are mascaras that are designed to help you achieve show-stopping lashes. I, de I did just buy some uh, mascaras from Lethal. I bought a brown and I bought a white. So I really don't need anything now. And I just repurchased the Pat McGrath Dark Star mascara these are $14 each which is not a bad price at all looks like we've got four colors I like that color though right there that's nice it's gonna be a nice no and again let me know if you like made by Mitchell I really don't know anything about him now from V cosmetics this looks interesting we have a uh, blood moon rituals palette which is due for the release on December 1st all right, so that should be out now. This is pretty. This is really pretty. I'd love to see swatches of this. I don't think this is something that I'm going to purchase at this time, but that's nice. This actually, this uh, little format reminds me a bit of Tammy Tanuka. Uh, so four super sparkly shades with beautiful, super shifty, with a beautiful, super shifty central shade. The perfect accompaniment to our original Blood Moon palette. Very nice. Very nice. Just see if I see any pricing. I'm trying to get y'all some prices, but it's just not happening. Say what's your price? I'm not seeing it, so nope. I don't know, and I just can't be fooling around. All right, what's this glitter? Oh, this is Deverne Cosmetics. This is um M Jones 5018, her brand. These are spectral shimmers. 
this is just a mess. This will be a mess for me. I'm not saying the product is a mess. It's going to be a mess if I use them. So no. And this is going to be available. It's already available 12 midnight along with a restock of the Moth and the Moon palette, which I did not get, but I saw some very nice reviews of that palette. All right, we have products from NYX Cosmetics. This is the Fat Oil Slick Click, and this is a new take on the Viral Fat Oil, which I heard was very nice, and I would I would use these. I would use these in a heartbeat. Um, I think this is gonna be a cheaper version of like the Dior Shine Bombs that I like the uh gucci glowing care bombs uh, the makeup by mario i have the charlotte tilbury uh hyaluronic lipstick lip gloss i, I mean i think it's going to be along the lines of those types of products the ones that click up i know the mario ones click up like that these are probably very nice i look at the colors Ooh, infused with raspberry oil, avocado oil, and cloudberry oil. This vegan lip offering provides up to 12 hours of hydration in just one swipe. I like that. Mm, I'm going to have to try this out. I don't know what cloudberry oil does, but it sounds really good. And um, I like how you have the click because like, I know what the Makeup by Mario wants, which I just emptied. Oh, is it this one right here? Hold on. Because I got it. I got it. Oh, no. I got to do my own one when I can, man. Like, I got to. This is a bronze glow. Yeah, like, see, it doesn't click anymore because it's done. Yeah, I love, I love this. So, now, I, I do think that the, uh, I do think the uh, NYX ones are going to be similar to that. This one had, like, I want to say a little bit of a plumping. Yeah, this was a plumping one because it has a little tingle in it. But I didn't really mind it. It wasn't too bad. All right, let's move on. Did we get a price for these? I'm not sure, but you know, NYX is very affordable. I really like these nude shades. They look nice. All right, from Valentino, no, spring 2024. I just can't do it. I'm sorry, this is happening, y'all. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I can't. I'm not even gonna try to get into next year. Like, it's already coming. I can't do anything about it. Why is spring 2024 lipsticks from YSL Beauty? These look nice, but I'm not, I'm not gonna get into it right now. Ooh. Kristen Lee Cosmetics has a, a restock of Shenanigans, which is a multi-chrome highlighter slash eyeshadow. Lots of shifts. Um, I am not purchasing this, but it is currently on sale. And there's a code radar15 that you can use at checkout. I have not shopped from Kristen Lee Cosmetics, but I have seen a lot of products that look really nice. So maybe one day, but NRN and not right now. Now, what is this? Base Blue Cosmetics has a mountain lion lip balm so i don't know how this works but it says unleash your wild side with this uniquely shaped lip balm designed to mirror the majestic mountain lion um okay it's 13 dollars it's not bad yeah no i'm gonna say no we have a new fragrance coming from wilhelm parfumery and it's called sparkling joe Oh, like Josephine Baker. That's going to be interesting. But I, I will tell you that the, the Wilhelm Parfumery fragrances are really strong for me. And I know a lot of people love mango skin, but mango skin is really strong. It doesn't settle down for me. And, and that might be great for some, but for me, no, it, it's, it's a lot. And I probably might need like half the spray and then like stand far away from the spray. It doesn't smell bad, but it's just too much. And then I've also tried Poets of Berlin, which I thought was better, but it's still not something that I would be able to to really, I try, but I can't. So I'm really curious to um, as to what the notes are going to be for this. Um, but yeah, I think overall, I, I've only tried those two, but I'm like, mm, I don't know how much more I would want to try from that house. I know that's not a um, Chinese New Year. It better not be. Mm, yes, it is. Lunar New Year. Nope, not doing it. Here's the whole palette from uh, Sean Bass D and Glam Smitty. The Forest Hughes Mystic Dreams. And yeah, I'm still not seeing prices, so. It's bad enough that I want the Disney 100. The Mini 100. It's bad enough that Jamie has it. And was like, you would love this. And I know she knows that I would love it because we have now exchanged perfumes. 
she knows what I like but this now this isn't a blind buy it's not blind buy safe it's it's just not but if if you're looking for a piece of art if you're looking for something that's unique and different something that's gonna add some character to your perfume tray it's this y'all oh my god House of Siage is trying to come for us. I don't know if y'all remember, but I had a fascination with the Batman one. And I was so glad I didn't buy it. But I wouldn't have been mad at that Batman cupcake or that Batman lipstick case. I would not have been mad at it. But the fragrance wasn't my favorite. I, even when it went to 50% 50, 50 off, I was like, ah. But I, I never got it because it smelled like apples in Gotham. It was just too much of not what I needed. This one, I'm not sure either. And I don't think it's a safe blind buy, but this is, so, look at this cupcake with the thing on the top. Like, look at the, the, the lettering on there. I mean, it is definitely Wednesday. You can just tell so much goes into it. I'm looking at my little cream chiffon here. It's like, hey, I need a new one, hey. I hate when I give things voices, but that's that's what I do. Like, this is what I got left. I love this thing. I mean, of course, I'm going to keep this this cupcake. I did get this 50% off. So, I, you know, I didn't pay the $400, but they're beautiful. They are gaudy beautiful. You know what I mean? And I know people don't like, some people may not like gaudy things, but um, I, I don't mind uh, some of my little interesting perfume bottles. But I, at the same time, I'm not necessarily buying art. So that's where the conflict uh, happens here. Now, this Wednesday fragrance is on pre-order right now. It will ship on December 11th, 2023. It says it's a one-of-a-kind captivating scent. But it's, it's, a, it's scary notes for me to purchase and, and be unsure. We have top notes of black pepper, LME resin, and saffron. The heart is Turkish Rose, Rose Centifolia, and Magnolia Blossom. And then we have the base, which has Argar Wood, Caribbean Vetiver, and Patchouli Indonesia. There's too many uncertainties here, but at the same time, it's like, when can I smell this? The only time I've been able to get my hands on something is like if I order something from House of Siash and they just happen to have a card with the scent and I can smell it. But that's never a guarantee. So, you know, you, you have to wait for reviews on a product like this. It's $418. Like you can't spend $418 and be unsure. And with this, there's only... <laughs> one note in here two notes maybe where i'm like okay but everything else is like mm, i'm not sure let me know what you think this is gonna smell like i believe that it says yeah it's spicy floral and woody and i'm sure it kind of has a a dark kind of darkness to it i just don't know I, I i feel like it's gonna be a unique scent but let me know what you think i have talked to some of you who love House of Siage and, you know, get the cupcakes. Not every one, but especially when they're on sale, because that's when I have gotten mine. But it, it's a pricey penny. But I do have some, like my mini Mouse and my cream chiffon. Y'all see my cream chiffon. Like, that's done. And um, you know, I have a few that I, I really do like, but, oh, man, I want it. Okay, I want to share that I did not purchase the Melt and Bailey Sarian collection, like the full collection. I talked myself out of it because I was just like, I bought a lot and there are just some products in here that I know I'm not going to really wear, which are these pots. I think I really want this uh, like purpley one, but that's it i don't need the black one i don't need the glitter ones i really like this uh, lip trio and i like that it's designed for you to kind of create your own custom shade and i think i could get away with that trio the palette one of the the purple um liner and then two lipsticks i would say the two on the right 
And I think I could be good to go with that. I'm curious as to whether or not it's going to come to Sephora. You know, Sephora is having that gifting sale, which would be great because that's how I plan to get the new K. Ali lychee scent. But I I'm just not not sure. All right. Is this another Lunar New Year? Shanta, hi. I'm not. Is this a lip sheet, though? <sighs> I love the lip sheet. I told you I just bought two when they had their sale. Not $52. Never mind. Let's just move on. Uh, Fenty, did y'all hear that um, Fenty might be pregnant again? Rihanna? I'm not getting that. All right, let's see. I did hear that, though. Tarte has a sneak peek. I don't really like doing those too much. What's Up Nails, which is um, also What's Up Beauty. They have some nail polishes. Too Cold for School is the collection. I, I'm... Y'all know I struggle bus, so no. And I really would like to paint my nails for going out of town. But I might have to try to get them done when I get there because it's time. All right, Milani, we've got a new product. We don't know what it is. It looks like a lip product, so I don't know. Skipping Ofra. Is Amaya has some lip balms that are shaped decently. Okay. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. $34 each. That's, I would say at this point, uh, average price. I mean, it's high end, but it's not $90. I know she had one that was $90 at one point. It's got vitamin E in it. And these look nice. Like, I would try one of these. Look at the black one. Yeah, I'd be interested. Lips, lip balm. Like, that one almost looks duochrome-y. So I'm, I'm curious. But, uh, you know, I think she just had a sale. So I'm just waiting. Givenchy, what is this? No, to 2024. I gotta, I just can't. Okay, Mika Beauty Shop has some new multi-chrome eyeshadows. The top right, all the way over. That's an interesting one. I don't think I have a, a shift that's like blue gold like that. I think that's really pretty. This is gonna drop on December 15th. I don't see any prices like I don't know what's going on but why there are no prices oh I saw that palette that palette has been revealed okay let me just talk about it though yeah I don't see any prices so I just can't and I'm not getting singles but this palette was in black and white and I was curious kind of like this I kind of like this palette it's called earth wizards okay it's 55 dollars is this that's euros right I'm not mad at this palette. I'm not saying I'm getting it, but I'm not mad. 15 pan eyeshadows, 10 mattes, and 5 multi-chromes. We're coming with swatches soon. It says this is their first palette without shade names. I don't know why, but this time I wanted a full matte black cover for the interior of the palette. Oh, so they probably have shade names, but they're probably on the back. I like this palette. I, I can't say I'm getting it, but... I like it. What is it that I like about it? So I, I think that I like the the choices of the mattes. When you have a palette that has multi-chromes like this, the multi-chromes really steal the show. You can put a multi-chrome all over the lid and just tap a little bit of the matte on the outer corner like I did with this look. I actually was wearing the Odin's Eye Snow Dream palette and then I got bored with that look. So you know what I did? I went and got my Adept uh, Sumerian sunrise is it Sumerian sunrise or Sumerian sunset Sumerian sunset palette I took one of the multi chromes from there and then I took like that little murky green and just put a little bit there just to kind of change up the look a little bit so you can do the same thing with a palette like this or make those halo eyes where you know or you can even do one matte on the inner one matte on the outer and then just bring the shimmer like in the middle like that I'm kind of liking this palette mmm I have not tried this brand, but this is a cool palette. What is this? Clean Beauty Collective. Okay, they're going to be doing a fragrance, it looks like. Innovative Fragrance Collection. C uh, created with the newest in fragrance technology. And what would that be? What's fragrance technology? Okay. No, can't. I'm confused. Uh, what is this? Okay, Tarte. So this is what Tarte was coming with. Juicy Shimmer Lip plump swipe on shimmers and manifest glimmers all right 
I'm not mad. $24. Available now. It's an available pass. And then we have Rokale Beauty. Do Divine. Do Do Divine. Okay. Um, what is this? Shader the first two parts to our trinity collection all right so we have a lip cream and redefined lip okay 26 dollars for the lip cream and the lip shader is 19. oh they have different um okay i don't oh i kind of like the shapes of these these are kind of cool it's a cool pass but it's look at that that's nice i don't know what it says I like that. Let me know what y'all think about that. I don't know anything about that brand. But I am uh, curious. Is that a Glossier? Is it Glossier or Glossier? Whatever. There's a candle. No. And then I heard Bath & Body Works is having some type of haul event. So we're going to go ahead with them $13.95 three wicks. And not this $45 one wick. Where do we can get no wicks? You know? Elf has a instant lift waterproof brow pencil. Okay, very nice. This is going to be very nice. Four dollars. That's great. That's a pass. I, I just, you know, my Maybelline Express Brow. I'm going to go ahead with that. This is the palette I've been waiting to see. Okay, this is from Official Spellbound Beauty. And this is the Carpe Noctum palette. Hmm, she's here. A little too late to the party. A little late to the party, but she's here nonetheless. 18 colors, all vegan, no glitters. Matte shimmers and duo chromes. I hope you love her as much as I do. I don't know about official Spellbound Beauty, so let me know. Let's look at the comments. Uh, I like the packaging, but too many white and gray shades that look similar. I wonder if this could have been a 9 or 12 pan palette. Yeah, a lot of similar colors. Those are some of my friends in the comments right there. We have to see the swatches only because... <sighs> No, no, I think I agree with the commentary. I think I do. Yeah, no, it's a no. This isn't what I was expecting. So I'm gonna move on. What is this? Metamorphosis BF. I hope you are ready for our beautiful penguin collection. No, I'm not. Uh, it is available. Four highlighters, toppers, and one cooling effect lip gloss. Okay. You need to leave. <laughs> All right, Sol de Janeiro is going to be coming out with something, another scent. So let me know your thoughts on that. It says it's completely new. Oh my gosh, my phone's about to die because it's getting dark. Oh yeah, I got to get a, a charger because we got to talk about the um, House of Siage. So hold on, y'all. Let me find me a charger. Okay, I am back and we are going to move on. We have a restock from Busy Art and they were having a sale but there was also a restock uh, i'm passing on busy art because i never use busy art although i know they are great now let's talk about bugs so, so house of sea is about to be coming with the nostalgia in a big expensive way and this is the bugs bunny fragrance it is limited edition it's 425 dollars and this is a pre-order another one that's going to ship on december 15th oh man so let's talk about the notes here We've got top notes of pink raspberry, bergamot, and uh, you, know, you know I'm have to look it up. SCI Skinnus, Skinnus Mole, S C H I N U S, S C H I N U S. Ooh, it's an evergreen tree. I wish I didn't look. Okay, the bright pink fruits of Skinnus Mole are often sold as pink peppercorns. Okay. Ooh, okay, so yeah. California pepper tree. Peruvian pepper is an evergreen tree that grows to 15 meters. It is native to the Peruvian Andes. The bright pink fruits of Shinus molly are often oh, sold as pink molly. peppercorns. See? Although S. Okay, okay, friend. Shinus molly. Okay, I'm... I'm Glad, you know, I'm always, I'm always trying to learn. I'm a lifelong learner. So, well, that didn't help. And uh, we got bergamot. Did I say that? In the heart, we have jasmine, rose, and whipped vanilla. And in the base, we have golden amber, patchouli, olibanum, and sheer musk. I don't know what olibanum is. Let's see. Oh, oh I, I've, I've seen it. Frankincense. See? <laughs> oh. 
Okay, I like, I think I like everything about that. I think I do. It is really supposed to capture the spirit of Bugs Bunny, who is mischievous. All right, well, you know, I need it to go on sale. I need half off, I really do, or 40%. I think that's, no, I didn't get Minnie Mouse for 40% off. But I got cream chiffon for like 50% off, so it does happen. But oh my gosh. Okay, let's stay with House of Siage because we also have Tweety. And it makes me wonder, are they coming out with the whole lineup? What if they come out with like Yosemite Sam? <laughs> I feel like that would be like a cinnamon, a cinnamon, cinnamon bark or something. I don't know. What if they do though? It's going to be red. Oh my gosh. I can see a lot of people like wanting these. This is the limited edition Tweety fragrance. Now this one has notes of uh, bergamot, apple, and lemon in the top, which I already like that idea. But then we have in the heart, lily, peony, rose, jasmine, and peach, which not sure about that part. And then in the base, it's musky and soft woody notes. Again, pre-order 425. It, it says that um, it's supposed to capture the delightful spirit of Tweety, ensuring that each application brings a smile to your face. I wonder what else they're going to come out with. Cause I, I can't imagine that these are the only two. Like now that I saw that there are two, cause if they did bugs, like to me, bugs is the face of Looney Tune. What if they did Pepe Le Pew? Is Pepe Le Pew Looney Tunes? All right, let me move on. I, hmm. So we got the Disney 100, we got Wednesday and we got these two Looney Tune ones. And I'm just like, wow, I, I like these types of things. But yeah, uh, pass for now. I need a sale. Elf has some H2O proof, okay, waterproof inkwell liner. All right, $7 each. That's nice. I mean, I don't really use these. I don't really do graphic liners or looks. So I'm not really interested. So going to move on. There's also a new mascara. I wouldn't mind trying something like that. I just don't need any. There are three shades and they're $7 each. Natural height type and lash extension hype. So there's a special brush. I thought they said it was shades. I don't know what kind of shades they are because it's gonna be a shady note for now. We talked about the Earth Wizard. Did we get a release date? Did I, did I mention that? Let's see. December 15th at 6 p.m. CET in a pre-order. Oh gosh. Pre-orders can take as one month to one month and one month and two weeks. <sighs> I like this, but I don't know. Like, I don't know. Are these handcrafted? I don't know if they're handcrafted. I don't know. But like these one month pre-orders and stuff are really, um, yeah, no. Drunk Elephant. We have a Bora Barrier Rich Repair Cream with six butter lipid complex. Okay. Uh, this is a pass. Oh, I like these types of pump, uh, pumpers i don't know what you call them it's probably expensive how much 69 dollars yeah no all right we have a precision oh no um let me see what else we have here clarence has got some nope spring 2024 i'm sorry i just can't Ooh, that lip oil looks good though and that water lip stain but i'm just tired like february 5th in asia no i'm good i'm good on that all right, what's this? Louboutin, that's a no, and I cannot stand that packaging. And then we have Vacation Ink. Oh, Vacation Ink is the one that has that, um, like that suntan lotion perfume. I wanted to try that. What is this? This is Orange Gelee Revival Project. What is this? Oh, okay. We don't know what it is, so that's okay. And um, I, I don't know what this is, and I'm okay with that. I'm going to move on. Lastly, we have, uh, all right, let me see what else is on point click. Cause I'm just, I'm just not doing it. Y'all we, we don't have time. Uh, let's go to point click volumes. I think we have the same, uh, releases here, which is cool. Trend mood. All right. Kind of got the same stuff. So we haven't really missed anything. The czar's coming out with some hair products. And I'm going to just pass on that. And Let's just check out Chic Profile 4, see what she's got going on. Doesn't look like too much though, which is great. Oh, look at her there in London, y'all. Yes. 
All right, y'all. Well, hopefully this video isn't too long. I feel like it still is because I'm just shit chatting. But um, ooh, brown sugar babe is live right now. Like those oils I got are so good. They are really good. So the next time they have a sale, you you gotta try it. If you're if you like um body oils and you're looking for like some body oil scents to dupe like a uh, high-end uh fragrances like mini miles like the killian fragrances they have some that uh do the um like tom ford they're they're on something and they're black owned so uh we're gonna go ahead and uh just recap really fast what are we into right now honestly i need to be into nothing that that's the i know that there's the sephora gifting sale coming up and actually let me just show you because i had talked about wanting these lip oils from in beauty project because they did a um collab with poppy sodas and i love poppy sodas i'm sitting there being like i'm showing you my card well let me just tell you what's in my card lord have mercy so like i said the poppy let me just rec screen record what a mess i'm so mad i thought i was showing y'all what was in my cart and i wasn't so there's the poppy um sips and lips limited edition we have the kle not getting this stuff any of that i like the polyglutamic acid hydrating serum and i see they have a uh sunscreen but i don't really need a sunscreen um alpin yeah they need a sale hooded beauty i wanted to try that under eye corrector but i don't really need one and it's out of stock anyway and i'm not getting these hourglass lipsticks i really uh wanted to try the summer friday's lip butter bomb but i really don't need that either and i don't need any of this stuff so nope and i definitely don't need any more gucci stuff i don't need a concealer don't need a pink powder definitely don't need that mm, the dior foundation I would like to try that, but I don't need that either right now. NRN. 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 Okay. Well, I had to just put that up in the side real fast. Um, that's it, y'all. So right now I uh I'm just gonna be stalking them house of Siage fragrances and hope that one day in like a year they'll go down. Like I said, the sparkling lychee. I think that's it. Oh, I will get the Bailey Sarian palette. I told you what I would get from that collection, but that's it. And that needs to be it. Like, I have things that have not arrived yet and lots of things to talk about and try. And I really do want to enjoy my makeup. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to just figure out what I want to do and what my makeup goals are for the upcoming year. For this collection, for the channel, and like just for the looks I want to create. So that's all she wrote, y'all. But let me know what you are thinking about with these makeup releases. And I'm going to let y'all go. Thank you so much. Oh, and don't forget, if there's anything that comes out that, you know, I didn't get to, just uh, put it in the comments so I can remember to talk about it next week. Oh, and I'm getting blends. I talked about that. So thank you so much for taking all some of your time and hanging out with me for another edition of the Makeup Protection Program. I don't know if we should call it this anymore. We're just like the makeup lovers, you know, we're like a little makeup family. Hmm. I don't know. We got to think about something else because I'm not really I'm not always protecting. I feel like, mm, yeah, I don't want to be misleading. You know what I mean? I hope this was therapy for you because it always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you're being. Oh, I'm going to see you again tomorrow, though. <laughs> make sure you're being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself. Nice. Stay safe. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.